Hi there and welcome to Coach Edo Q&A and what I have for you today is a question from a lady by the name of Jeannie out in the States and she's asking not so much for herself but more for her friend Michelle who's battling a little bit as far as being able to match Jeannie as far as weight loss is concerned. Their daily calorie intake is virtually exactly the same. Their daily exercise routine is effectively the same because they do the same two miles on the track together. They do the same number of laps in the pool on a, on a daily basis as far as their daily training is concerned. So they match each other training weights, they match each other calorie weights, but for some reason Michelle's weight is going up while Jeannie's weight is coming down and they can't for the life of them figure what the possibilities are. And after make, asking one or two additional questions, I've got bang on the solution as far as, Michelle, how you are able will be able to bring your body weight way back more down in line with what Jeannie is doing as far as her body weight situation is concerned. Dead simple, dead easy for to use. And I'll carry on with that solution in just a moment. Coach Edwards.net Okay, Michelle. What Jeannie told me about your day-to-day -day work environment is you're at high stress levels. And as a consequence of those high stress levels, it's apparently been playing havoc on the amount of sleep that you're being able to get in every night. And what happens is when your stress level goes up, when your amount of bed rest sleep goes down, what happens is it creates an increase in cortisol levels. Your cortisol hormonal levels go completely out of whack and if your cortisol levels are elevated your body stores fat for men it's especially in the belly area for women lower belly and hips is where the cortisol fat is largely stored so if you find that your weight gain is happening more in the belly hips area 99.99% of the time that will be as a result of increased cortisol levels and what Jeannie tells me about your stress levels at work, your lack of uh, sufficient sleep that you're getting at home, that all leads to me to the conclusion that your cortisol levels are elevated and that's what's causing your problems. Now, very importantly, there are two factors relating to the cortisol levels. It increases the belly and hip fat, as I mentioned. It also increases the concentration of what's referred to as intramuscular uh, lipids in other words the amount of fat within your muscle fiber and what's vitally important as far as this fat inside your muscle fibers are concerned is that it blocks the keyholes that the insulin needs to get into to be able to open up your muscle and allow blood sugar in so what happens is where Jeannie's cortisol levels are down because she's getting sufficient bed rest and because she's ma uh, managing her stress levels way better it means that her Inter intramuscular fat levels have been reduced as well and that means that her insulin can work that much better and when her insulin is working that much better it opens the gateway for glycogen to move from the bloodstream into the muscles and get burnt not only through exercise but post exercise due to an increased metabolic rate with your intramuscular fat, fat levels at an elevated rate the uh, insulin is not working properly and it's not letting the blood glucose get into your muscles it means that as soon as you stop exercising your metabolic rate stops at exactly the same time so you finish exercising and your metabol me metabolism burn rate stops right there along with you whereas Genies continues working for an additional hour to an hour and a half maybe depending on the exercise level two hours post exercise so that's one of the main factors and they, a couple of things from a dietary point of view that you can look at yes reducing refined sugars reducing refined carbohydrates if you're having carbohydrates within your diet make sure that they are whole food plant-based carbohydrates in moderation we're talking about sweet potatoes potatoes that type of thing increase your protein intake but whole food clean protein sources in other words and if you take taking into account 
the food sources that have got the highest density of protein per calorie, you'll find that 8 out of the 10 food sources with the highest density of protein per calorie are all plant foods. So, from that point of view, look at increasing your intake of watercress, spinach, uh, any other leafy greens, your legumes, chickpeas, white beans, black beans, green beans. Load up on the legumes, load up on the spinach, load up on the watercress, load up especially on the broccoli as well, and that will increase the relative calorie value of protein that you're taking, but it's clean protein. And very importantly, during this process, while you're busy being able to adjust your, your lipid levels, is cut your fat intake way down, right down, bring it right down. That includes things like cutting back on even avocados, your oils, even if it's extra virgin olive oil, cut that all together at least for a 14-day period and see how that um, impacts on your lipid levels and how that impacts on your cortisol levels. And then, very importantly, there's not that much you can do as far as your work stress level is concerned, but please do your utmost to get as much bed rest as possible. Even if you're not sleeping all the way through, even if you're not, if you, even if you're not getting your seven to eight hours of sleep every single night, I know I'm not doing that myself either, but try and be in bed in a darkened room and at least be resting for an extended period of time because that resting period will be able to relax your body to a certain extent and that relaxation will reduce your stress levels, will reduce your cortisol levels and that will help your metabolic rate work that much better going forward. I know this is a really, really long video, but it's really difficult to get this type of information concise within a very short period of time. That's my personal take on the matter. I look forward to the opportunity of working with you as a coach and help you get through all these processes, get your cortisol levels down and get your fat burning levels down to the uh, fat burning levels, should I say, up to the type of temper that you would ideally like. I'd love the opportunity to be able to work with you as a coach. So, and so let Jeannie know if you're open to that type of idea and we can definitely discuss this as a possibility going forward. And uh, that's my take on the matter. Anybody else, if you have comments, questions, criticisms, by all means post those in the comment section down below. Remember, share this out amongst all your running friends or, or, or amongst your um, weight loss friends. And remember, stay carved up for the win, for, for brilliant brain function. And remember to stay tuned to my channel by subscribing for all the videos that will be coming out to you daily. Stay well. I'll be speaking, you, speaking to you soon.